Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Exposed and I wanted to make a quick follow-up episode. If you've seen yesterday's episode, we talked about bulk loading. We bulk loaded some HP5 into some uh, recycled canisters and I kind of started into a point that I should have finished through on, but I didn't. And I wanted to make a quick little video kind of giving you guys an extra little hack to go along with using recycled canisters. So I, I showed a, a 400 speed canister and I talked about loading 400 speed film into a 400 speed canister. And I know so many of you guys that shoot different SLRs, different point and shoots that read the DX codes and I get asked all the time on how to push film in those types of cameras. And I wanted to give you a little hack that you could actually bring into uh, your bulk loading so that way if you start thinking ahead of, hey, I'm loading HP5, I wanna push it to 1600, uh, you could actually find a, I don't have a 1600 cartridge, but let's say you wanted to push it to 3200. You could find a 3200 cartridge, just like the T-Max cartridge here. You could find 800 speed cartridges and start loading them in there if you wanna push it to, you could even push to 800 within your camera and then push it an extra stop in developing uh, to 1600 there, but you could start using the different 200 speed film. So I like to overexpose my film by a stop. I just like nice thick negatives to work with in dark room and in scanning and everything like that. So uh, even if I was shooting at 400, I'd probably meter for 200. So if you wanted to do that in camera, but you don't have the ability to change your ISO for metering, or you don't have the ability for manual settings or anything like that, you can start loading 400 speed film in 200 speed canisters, and then it will read the DX code, shoot it like 200, you develop for 400, and boom, you got like a stop of overexposure to work with and you got tons of latitude in there. So uh, I just kind of wanted to throw this out there. You can find all sorts of different speed canisters and if you start thinking about it in interesting ways and start thinking about uh, ahead of time of, hey, you know, I might want to push this film you could start loading it in canisters to be able to do that. I just wanted to throw this out there and share it with you guys before the thought left my mind and uh, just kind of give you another way of being able to hack uh, just your, your whole film loading setup. So uh, I might talk about, let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see a video on how you can actually hack the uh, DX codes on canisters that you've already loaded or brand new canisters that you're shooting new film in to where you can hack it and start pushing that way. If you wanna see that video, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, uh, are there any other bulk loading or film loading hacks that you, uh, that you know of that I should know of or that anybody else should know of? Leave those in the comments down below and uh, until the next video go and bulk load some more film and uh and just kind of have fun with uh with the whole shooting process i'll see you then peace